Deadly crime spree, fugitive arrested. Broward's most wanted taken into custody. We begin with this developing story, the arrest of the man accused of three carjackings and a deadly shooting. Authorities caught up with him in West Palm Beach. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from Lauder Hill with what went down today. Peter. Well, Ian, this is indeed a relief to everyone concerned about this carjacker being on the loose. We have new video right now from West Palm Beach of the takedown of the man who the FBI says went on a violent crime spree. Now, you're looking at Gregory Moore in a red hoodie. He is then picked up by FBI agents and taken away in handcuffs. All this happened around 3.15 this afternoon. Says 35 year old Gregory Moore was arrested without incident, and two other individuals have been detained as well. It happened here at the Mangonia Park Tri Rail Station in West Palm Beach, where this new video shows a white SUV and a flatbed truck. It's what Claudia, a witness to one of the crimes, had hoped for. All I hope for is that they, they get to catch the guy. They need to find him, and because I think he's very dangerous out there. Anyway. Claudia does not want to show all of her face, but she wanted to speak out about Moore, who's now accused in a rampage that included the carjacking of a truck at Griffin Road and I-95. He was acting very crazy, and you could see in his face that he was losing it. I was afraid that if he was going to start shooting, he was going to hit me because I was right, like right behind the car that he was pointing at. So my heart was pounding so hard, and I was even more scarier because I was with my daughter in the car. New information sheds more light on Moore's most recent arrest in a domestic violence case in Lauder Hill on Sunday morning. An officer quotes a woman who called in about Moore saying she then went on to say, I kicked him out because he beats me. I'm afraid of him. The officer noticed that Moore was sleeping in the master bedroom, and when his name was called out, he reached for a weapon that was in his waistband. The officer said the defendant did not draw the weapon, but then uttered, I'm sorry, officer. I've been to prison. I don't want any trouble. Moore's arrest history dates back to 1997 when he was accused of aggravated battery. He served three years in prison. In 2001, he was put on probation for cocaine and marijuana possession and arrested again in 2005 for possessing cocaine. In 2006, he was charged with the possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And in 2010, he was charged with robbery with a firearm. He served four years and was released in February. Now, Gregory Moore was actually out on bond after his arrest here in Lauder Hill on Sunday morning for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Now he's in custody in West Palm Beach facing federal charges, and the FBI says he likely will be in federal court tomorrow in West Palm Beach. The FBI is thanking the public for its help. We're live in Lauder Hill. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Elliot. Peter, thank you, and stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of the deadly crime spree.